Hi, I'm going to show you what uh, I'm doing here with my bangers, how I'm bending them. Uh, I'm bending 6x10 uh, quartz tube and uh, I'm using my Litton auto lathe just to give you an idea of what can be done with an automated machine uh, with a little imagination and an ingenuity. So I'll run a couple of them here and show you what's going on and I'll come back and do some explaining. Normally I have up a uh, number five or six shield. Uh, I've taken that off so you can see what's going on. As you can see the tube is not straight. It doesn't really have to be. another tube up in the holder. Check it to see if it's reasonably straight. I should tap it in. Like I said, it doesn't have to be real straight, just has to kind of be there. Push start button. Okay, I'll explain a couple things to you. The first thing that happens is the swing arm comes down. That's where I set my stop or my length. Um, over here on the tail stock, you can see I have my XY mounted on my tail stock. And this little thing here is just a... Let me see if I can get you a closer shot here. Uh, it certainly isn't anything very fancy. That's a piece of, uh, let's see if I can figure out how to zoom this thing. That's a quarter inch uh, stainless steel tube that I had, and I happen to have some three millimeter stainless steel tubing. And I just silver soldered the joint together there and bent it out so it would hold the tube. It doesn't actually have to uh, come in contact with the tube or anything, it just kind of has to be there. Never actually, tube never actually touches um, the little uh, holder there uh, when it's being uh, brought up or when it's being heated. Um, okay, this comes in, just sets up under there, heats up the tube. And as you can see, it just brings it up, and then the tailstock comes forward to make finish off my 90 degrees. So let me show you that again. Swing arm comes down, sets my length. That just comes in, and as you can see, the tube never actually touches the, the tailstock part. My little fork thing there. That's just a Litton two burner single jet burner. 
uh, programmed to make, uh, I think it's four passes. And then as it comes up, you'll see the fire carriage runs to the left, now, and the fire stays on. The reason it does that is because this is where you get most of your stretch, of course, is on the outside of the tube. So the fire carriage runs under it to keep that nice and warm while the bend is being made. And I could change the bend to any angle that I wanted. Right now I'm doing 90 degrees for the bangers. But by changing the uh, traverse or how far the uh, XY comes up, I can change my angle to about anything I want. This makes a nice sweeping bend for the bangers. Now as the tailstock comes up and in, you'll see that the fire carriage runs left, heats that outside of that bend up, makes my nice sweeping bend. Of course, and after it makes the part, everything goes back to home, starts out from ground zero again. And this is just mostly to show you what can be done with some automation, a um, little imagination, and some trial and error. Uh, by the way, these bangers are being sold on my website, uh, kingofports.com. Uh, visit it, there's a lot of good uh, stuff on there. Okay, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it.